Yo, what's up, Hustle Nation? Listen, today we're kicking off a series called The Number One Way to Lower Your Taxes Big Time, according to Sandy Bakken, attorney, CPA, and former trainer of the IRS auditors team, and why now he's educating everyday citizens like you and me on the number one way we can transform our finances by accessing the tax code to benefit us instead of allowing it to be us down. So I'm going to share a series of clips with you from a recent podcast episode where we did a deep dive into Sandy Botkin's book, Seven Ways to Legally Lower Your Taxes. So check out this first clip. overcome fear if you're going to win. Uh, he starts this thing out saying that everybody needs a side business. Everybody. Everybody needs a side business. Let, let me just start this way because a lot of times people don't understand why wealthy people don't uh, pay as much taxes than everybody else. Why do the business owners get the tax breaks and the employees don't? It is as simple as this, my friend. When you went to your job, was there a building for you to go to? Yes or yes? When you got inside the building and went to your station, was there a workstation already prepared for you? Yes or yes? When you, if you're in sales and you got into uh, selling, was there a telephone or an internet and computer already set up for you to reach out to your clients and call your prospective buyer? Absolutely. See, the reason that employees do not get the tax breaks is because, I hope I can say this and we can still be friends. Right. The reason employees don't get the tax break is because employees don't bring nothing to the table. Now, I'll let y'all digest that for a second because it's hard to hear. What do you mean, Cortez? We don't bring anything to the table. I'm bringing my talents. I'm bringing my blood, my sweat, my tears. I'm bringing my intellect. Yeah, man. You're bringing all of that stuff to something that already exists. Right. So the, uh, the government says, listen, we can give tax breaks. We just can't give them to everybody. So who are we going to choose to give the tax breaks to? Am I going to give it to the employee who brings nothing to the table? Or am I going to reward the person who is creating opportunities by way of jobs and ways for people to make money. They are contributing to the gross domestic product of this country. Am I going to give the tax breaks to the laborer or I'm going to give the tax breaks to the person that is creating the opportunities for the laborers to have a job? Hey, my friend, hopefully you enjoyed that short snippet of one of my podcast episodes on the Cortez Social Show. If so, do me a favor, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you also turn on the bell notification and then comment, what was your biggest takeaway from that short clip? I'm sitting here in my home office and realizing that a percentage of everything that I pay to maintain my home is a tax write-off because I have a home-based business. Let me ask you something. Would you be willing to take a short seven question survey to see how much money you could bring back into your household if you started a business? If so, I want you to click on the link in the description. Just answer seven simple questions and it'll give you a pretty good estimate using the IRS's own calculator as to how much money you could be overpaying in taxes every single month. And then what you could do to bring that money back into your household in terms of starting a home-based business. So do me a favor, comment, like the page. So do yourself a favor, click on that link and see if you are overpaying taxes and what you could do to start a home-based business to bring that money back into your household. So I'll talk to you next time. Get your money up because you absolutely can do it. But more importantly, you deserve to do it each and every single one of you. Now hustle up.